I've always wanted to get better at Valorant, to be immortal and smurf to get egos. Unfortunately, I'm hard stuck gold with what you would call no bitches. But today, that changes. Today, I will get better at Valorant. Today, I spent the rest of my money on skill capped. Will I manage to see instant improvement or am I just terrible at the game? So I tested if using skill cap for seven days will improve my game. And you wouldn't believe how good I got. Day one is where it all started. I looked on skill cap to see if anything caught my eye and it did. Yeah, I wanna be an aim god. I watched every video on this topic and then went into a deathmatch to see if I was now good at the game. I wasn't. This is also where I queued my first ranked game of the seven days and it was on Haven. The first two rounds weren't amazing and we were already losing by two rounds. Until on round three, I traded my gecko and planted the spike. Neon popped off and we were going to make a comeback. I checked the leaderboard and there I was, joint bottom. I needed to pick up my game and fast, which is where I came back with two easy kills to start winning the match. We then won round six, lost round seven, and won round eight and nine. At this point, I wasn't doing much for the team. I was playing Jet and only had five kills, so I needed to step up and start to carry. I hit some good shots on round 10, but we still lost it. And before I knew it, we were back to an equal game. The second half started promising. Got two early kills on pistol round, which we ended up winning. I then died behind to a classic. Apparently, no one was watching Garage. The game kept tying up until we were winning 11 to 10 and this happened i am definitely going to need to use skill cap more if i want to improve within this week the game ended 14 to 14 and i got zero rr this just looks like i need to improve some more to end the day off i spent some more time looking through the same course as before and also trying to work my strafing and tracking day two started and i was already feeling good i warmed up in aim labs and also went into a death match i watched a few more videos on skill capped and one thing i knew i needed to improve on is seeing where i'm making mistakes so I went through my game from yesterday and picked out things to improve on. I found out that I was crouching basically in every gunfight, which ended up in me getting headshot. I tried to work on these in the custom game, and then I went into another comp to see if I changed anything. Oh my god. Did you guys? We picked up a loss and I didn't play that well. I also crouched a lot of the times when I shouldn't have. I was now two games without a win and I knew I had to put in some more effort if I wanted to see any sort of improvement in the next seven days. I then decided to spend an hour working on my tracking, strafing and crosshair placement, another hour in death matches to actually try and put that into gunfights, and then 30 minutes watching another skill capped course. This time it was a test on what you should do in specific situations and in each video I was learning something new and rethinking my life choices. Do you think he should be pushing this? Do you think he should be falling back? Or do you think that he should just be holding this position? He should push because he's got the better gun, right? Because he's got a Spectre and they're saving. So what I think he probably should be doing here is either holding this or falling back oh. from this position. And then I was on to the final match of the night. Even though it didn't seem like I played that bad, I really just did not feel good. Every play I tried just failed and I couldn't hit any headshots, so I ended the night there. Now that it's day three and we are almost halfway through, I wanted to use skill cap to actually improve more at this game. I spent about an hour going through these courses and practicing what they say. I also went into a deathmatch and then queued for a comp game. I actually enjoyed playing Brimstone quite a lot in the previous game, so I decided to play him some more. However, this game felt very different.
My aim just felt so good and I was hitting all the shots that I knew I should be hitting. In the end, we won 13 to two and I went 18 and six. This also gave me a double rank up to gold three, which I actually missed happening. I wasn't even recording. I just got a double rank up. For some reason, I was already playing in plat lobbies, even though I haven't been plat for over five months. I also gained 37 RR, so I guess my MMR is just really high. I ended up playing another match because I felt match really good, fell. and we ended up destroying the other team. We absolutely destroyed them 13 to 0, and our jet went crazy. I'm not even sure if they were a smurf or not, but I'll take the win anyway. I was now done for the night and needed some rest because I was on my computer for the entire day. It's now over halfway in the seven days and I'm already seeing some progress. Most of this is just in the way that I'm playing, but there's not much change in my rank. So I wanted to play more comp and get some more wins. There was also a problem with the way that I played yesterday and it was that I didn't actually know how to play the objective. All I was doing was just sitting on a site looking for kills until I saw these courses on skill capped specifically for how to attack and defend. Honestly, these were probably the best guides that I watched. After spending way too much time going through what each one of them taught me, I decided to get into my first comp game for the day and oh my did these courses help. What? Look at this. What? For some reason, my MMR is just super high. So I was just put in a high plat, low diamond lobby. I still managed to MVP, which just shows how much I've improved. My eyes were actually really hurting after this game for some reason, but it was probably because I was playing Valorant like it was a full-time job for three days beforehand. I rewatched the attack and defense guides on skill capped, and then I went to bed. On day five, I wanted to learn how to play Brimstone more, but there wasn't actually a course on skill capped for him. So I did end up watching a few YouTube videos instead. I also went to warm up my aim and then went into a few death matches. This is because if I won my next game, I would be ranking up to plat, which is actually a lot more than what I hoped for in the seven days. And then finally, it was time for my comp match. This time it's on Fracture and of course I played Brimstone. The game starts off well as we already have comms, which is better than basically every other game that I've played. On round one, I get a kill on Raze and then get the spike down. Their Fade tries to kill me when I'm pinned on site, but I managed to kill her, and then I get killed by the enemy Brim who pushed me. Our Sage wins us the round, and we get off to a good start. A similar thing happens in round 2, where I get a kill through the smoke, and then we end up winning the round. The other team brings it back to 3-2, and I'm not doing that good, but it's still not terrible. Then finally something happens on round 8, where it's a 1v1 between me and the other Brimstone. I guess you would call that a Brim diff. The first half ends with me going 8-9, and we're drawing 6-6. Six but don't worry, I was just getting started. This second half, I went crazy, and I ended up winning a few rounds for my team.
We end up winning in overtime, and why am I in such a high-ranked lobby? Oh my god! Yeah, so you know I said that was my plat rank up game. I got a double rank up to plat, plat two. One, Don't ask me, I have no yes. idea why. Plat one. Wait. Wait, what? What? Just because of that, I decided to call it a night, and now we're on day six. I didn't exactly do much on day six apart from watching this really long course on skill capped of someone smurfing through some plat games. I also played some deathmatch to keep my aim warm, but I didn't really want to play any comp games. And here we are, the final day of the seven days using skill capped. I started off with the usual warm up, watched some smurf gameplay, and then went into a comp game. But this game was very interesting to say the least. So yeah, I lost the game and pretty badly. I really did not want to play anymore and I was on my D rank game. So that's where the seven days finished. We went from gold one to plat two in my first ever video. That's pretty cool.